Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's praise God. Can we give God praise? If you know he's alive, give him praise. We serve a risen Savior. And today we have the victory. I need somebody to shout victory. Come on, somebody shout victory. Oh, come on, give God praise in the house. Give God praise in the sanctuary. Give God praise in the sanctuary. Lift your voices. Lift your hands. If you know the victory is ours today, hallelujah. The devil is defeated. We have the victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, we have the victory. Come on. Lift the high praise in the house. Lift the high praise in the house. Victory shall be mine.
Our Lady, Deneen Winans is coming at this time. Come on, let's give God praise for her. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel like you all are ready to praise him. I want to give honor to God, first of all, because he is a healer. He's a savior. He's a deliverer. He's our strong tower. He's mighty. He's powerful. He's our everything. Amen. And so I want to give honor to our bishop in his absence. He's resting. Amen. You saw the video. He said he's fine and he is. Amen. I want to thank God for all of you who showed up because he can't rest and we rest at the same time. Right. We got to come here and praise the Lord. Right. Amen. And then I just want to give God to Elder. We're going to be looking forward to Pastor Donnie. But what I came here today to do, and I, and I will admit, let me confess and repent. When he said go, I was a little resistant. I was, I want to stay here with you. But I'm so glad that I'm here today. Hallelujah. And I'm glad I'm here today and I'm not crying because he's, he is a healer. We're not crying. We're praising. We're not sad. The enemy meant to be, but God is exalted. The enemy is defeated, but God is exalted. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. Hallelujah. So he didn't heal them and take them. He healed them to keep them here. So we should be here praising our God for the greatness and what he has done for us. Amen. So come on, give him a praise. Give him a break. I mean, give him a break. Let's praise him. and thank God as we welcome everyone to perfecting church hallelujah 
we welcome everyone to our 1045 service. God is alive. Hallelujah. We thank you for those that are in the chat, our YouTube and Facebook family members. We thank God for you. You continue to praise him at home. Cut it on your carpet at home. Amen. Praise God. And to those that are in the chat, I want you to share. Bring your friends in in the cyber sanctuary. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We thank you. And we honor you for this day, God, because you've made this day. You're greatly, great to, greatly to be praised. Forgive us of our sins, iniquities, and transgressions. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God, we come with great expectation for the word today. We know that you're here like you're here every Sunday, God. You're in our lives 24 hours a day, seven days a week. God, we thank you're going to meet us here. We have a phenomenal expectation of what you're going to do through the Holy Ghost. Now, God, we ask that you would touch this service. Anoint as you always do. The musicians, the mothers, God, the ushers. God and the people of God, touch their hearts that they will receive a mighty word from you. We thank you because we're going to be the better for it. And God, bless those that are in our cyber sanctuary, our Facebook and YouTube family. In the name of Jesus, we give you honor and glory. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we pray amen. And while you're still standing, come on and clap your hands and tell God thank you. Yes, Lord, there's a praise. I'm trying to control myself. My God. Uh. If you have your Bibles, because we are a sharing church, amen. Don't sit down, grab your Bibles, your electronic Bibles, your iPads, your iPhones, your Androids. <laughs> amen. And get Psalm 146. If you have Psalm 146, Again, Psalm 146. And when you have it, say, I got it. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth. He returneth to the earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Happy is he. I said, happy is he that hath God of Jacob for his help. For whose hope is in the Lord his God. Lord, we thank you for your word. Come on and clap your hands as we receive a time of praise and worship. And after that, I'm going to introduce our children's church staff. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I get you one more good time to give out God praise? Hallelujah. He has done great things. Hallelujah. Come on and clap those hands and give him glory. Come on. I wish I could tell you, wish I could describe it, but I can't contain it, can't keep it to myself. There aren't enough colors to paint the whole picture, not enough words to ever say what I found. Come on and clap. Wonderful and beautiful and glorious and holy. He is merciful and powerful. Who are we talking about? That's my king. We declare. We declare glory. Give you all the honor. All, the honor. all together world. All together world. Who are we talking about? That's my king. That's the one before you. Yes, we will adore you. Yes, we will adore you. All of this is for you. Who we talking about? That's my king. Come on, can I get somebody to clap those hands? Hallelujah. Come on and praise him. Yeah. I'm not letting the rocks cry without joining the chorus. There aren't enough notes to make the harmony. It's the song of the angels. Angel. All of the ages. Angel. All of the earth and heaven symphony. Come on, say, wonderful and beautiful and glorious and holy. He is merciful and powerful. Who we talking Come about? Come on, clap. That's my king. We declare. We declare the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the honor. All together, all together the word. Who we talking Who about? We talking about? That's my king. There's no one before There's you. No one before yes, we will adore. All of this is for you. Who we talking about? That's my king. Come on, clap those hands. Hallelujah. Come on and bless his name. He's worthy as he is. Hallelujah. That's my king. 
That's my God, that's my shepherd, my protector, that's my king, that's my rock, that's my anchor, my defender. coming we have our sister white come on come on and clap your hands for our children's church staff amen 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 i am sister joy white i am here to welcome you on behalf of third sunday children's church everybody praise the lord amen our children are coming at this time to bring their offering and they are coming with the praise on their lips for our king amen staff please usher them down children if you have your offering at this time we are going to pray once our children um, finish praying we will exit and go to children's church amen amen god is good the bible says suffer little children forbid them not to come unto me yes god thank you jesus amen okay children if you can lift your offering we are going to pray Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless our children's offering as they give in faith. 
We ask, Lord, that this offering returns unto them some hundredfold. We ask, Lord, that in good measure, pressed down, shaken together, you return this offering unto the families, unto the children, unto our church, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you right now for this seed, and we know that not as a debt we owe, but as a seed we sow. Amen. Children, bring your offering. Come on and clap your hands for our wonderful, beautiful children, our boys and girls that love God. Amen. Amen. Look at them. We thank God that we can encourage them as they give. Amen. Look at, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for our children. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. Come on and clap your hands for our children's church. Amen. Well, we praise God for our children. Now we're going to prepare your hearts as Minister Sherry Cox comes with our moment of exhortation. And followed by her comes the wonderful PYC. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. He's a good God. He's a faithful God. Oh, do you love him this morning? Do you love him this morning? Do you love him this morning? Because he surely loves you. Second Thessalonians chapter 5. Verse 24 tells us, faithful is he that calleth you, who will also do it. I don't know what you're waiting for God to do, but I'm here to let you know we serve a God that cannot lie, a God that can make the impossible manifestation of it, a God who has no limits or boundaries of whom he will bless. A God, whatever he speaks, he shall, he will bring it to pass. A God that's steadfast and unmovable. A God can do and reach way down in the lowest valley in your life and pull you out. A God that has a plan purpose specifically for you a God that knows your beginning and knows your end a God that chose you before the foundations of this world a God that left a word for us a word to hold on for in Isaiah 46 and 11 the word declares if I yea, I have spoken it I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will bring it to pass. I have purposed it. I will also do it. Whatever, 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 whatever God has spoken to you, hold on. Do it. He will. He will. He will. You got to understand that. He will. Surely he will. He will bring it to pass. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. I don't care how long it's been. God's going to bring it to pass. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Never forget what he's spoken to you. Believe. Receive. He will do it.
speak to my heart Holy Spirit Give me the words That will bring new life Words on the wings of a morning The dark night will fade away Speak to my heart Speak to my heart Holy Spirit Give me the words That will bring new life Words on the wings of a morning The dark night will fade away Speak to my heart yeah. oh. Give me the words Words So I need you to give me Say it one more time. Give me the words. Words. So I need you to speak. will 
fade away Speak to my heart Hallelujah, hallelujah Hallelujah, come on and clap your hands for the PYCs For the PYCs and I'm a proud father. I thank God for my sons. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Well, listen, we love our visitors. Come on. We love our visitors. You all may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We will formally uh, welcome everyone who's visiting Perfecting later in our service. But right now, we want to make a few acknowledgments. And today we have Audrey Hargo of Yah Foods from Illinois who brought some wonderful young ladies from Chicago, Atlanta, Memphis, and some from Metro Detroit with her. So if you are here, please stand, everyone with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Sister Audrey Hargo, praise God. Amen. We have a very critical election coming up. As I call your name, please stand. Wayne County Prosecutor, if Prosecutor Kim Worthy is here, but can you stand, please? Awesome. We honor you. Thank you so much. We have Attorney Macy Gaines running for Wayne County Probate Court. Thank you so much. We honor you today. And Attorney Malika Heath running for judge for 36th District Court. Amen. And then also we have Pastor Boyd White running for Detroit School Board. Let's welcome them to PC. Y'all give them a love from PC, amen? Hallelujah. Well, listen, without further ado, stand to your feet, please, for me. Praise God. I want to honor a great man of God. He's here today, amen? And our very own pastor, Donnie McClurkin, amen? From Perfecting Faith in New York, amen? We have a word of God coming. And we thank God because we are in expectation of what God is going to say through this man of God. We thank God while he comes and we want to prepare our hearts to receive. Please receive Pastor Donnie McClurkin. Amen. may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Father, let your blessings flow and let your word go forth in power, I pray. Let everyone be receiving recipients of your word. I pray, Lord God, that this word would cause people's lives to be encouraged and changed. And I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that your grace would be given as I divest myself of my own will and follow yours. Now, Jesus, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And bless Bishop Marvin L. Winans. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said bless Bishop Marvin L. Winans. My brother, my pastor, let your hand be heavy upon him. And let the works of his hands, Lord God, that you've given him to do, continue to prosper and bless people in-house and around the world. This we ask in your name, Lord Jesus Christ. And every glad heart said, amen. amen. Somebody give God a great praise here. His grace and his great love shown and I'm gonna tell you it's good to be home right now it is good to be home right now 
and I thank God for allowing me to come and to minister here at my home church, Perfecting Church here in Detroit. Again, we honor God for our bishop, our pastor, Marvin L. Winans. Now, 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 before you take your seat, having a pastor is one thing, but having a man of God that is really inspired and hears the word of God and gives the word of God, who lives the word of God, uncompromised, unapologetically, and has the wisdom of God, we thank God for Bishop Pastor Marvin L. White. Somebody just scream, just scream. <laughs> and we praise God for First Lady Deneen Winans. To all of the pastors and the elders that rule well here, to the support systems that are in this house, to every one of you, the body of Christ, we praise God for every one of you. Just hug that person next to you and just say, I'm so glad you're here. Hug that person next to you and say, I'm so glad you're here. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. To my sister Cindy Flowers, we praise God to every one of you, for every one of you. I'm not going to be before you long. I'm not going to be before you long. I'm going to remember that I am at Perfecting Church and not perfecting faith church where I can preach for an hour and a half, but I'm just not going to do it here. Touch your neighbor and say, he ain't going to do it, he ain't going to do it, he ain't going to do it. But I praise the Lord for allowing me this opportunity. Um, when you have a love for God and you really are committed to the Lord, God gives you the strength to do everything that he's commissioned you to do. Amen. And there's no weapon that is formed against us that are following God and obeying him. There's no weapon of the enemy that can prosper. Everything that the enemy throws at us, God has given us the power to resist and push back. And I, and I told them today at, at, at Perfecting Church Toledo, I told them Satan failed again. Y'all, <laughs> y'all, I, I, I don't have to go any further. All I can tell you is that Satan failed again. And so I dance on his head. I rejoice over the power of our God. Is there anybody here that is glad that God is victorious? Anybody here glad for the victory in Jesus Christ? If you're glad for the victory in Jesus, I want you to take a moment, jump up, and just praise Him with everything in you. I'm sorry, you, you may be seated. It's not right to dance before I preach. But I'm, I'm just glad that we got the victory. I'm glad that God sustains us. I'm glad that God worked a miracle with our bishop. I'm not going to dance. I'm not going to dance.
Glory to God. Something just shifted in this room. Nobody playing this Sunday. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. As, as you're taking your seat, hit somebody next to you and say, I'm all right. So you know that despite what I've been through, I'm all right. There's a testimony in this room. You may be seated. You may be seated. You may be seated. Hallelujah. I've got to move on. going to move on um, I was going to speak on something else but I think I'm gonna stick right there I think I'm gonna stay right there just say I'm all right I, I, I just want you to fly in the devil's face and let him know that his greatest attack and attempt wasn't good enough I'm all right I'm not, I'm not just speaking about that hypothetically right where I stand I'm all right <laughs> oh God help me get through this I'm alright in the book of Isaiah I'm going to go to one scripture in Isaiah in the book of Isaiah the third chapter starting at the 10th verse and the 10th verse only it simply says this say ye to the righteous tell the righteous it shall be well with him And they shall eat the fruit of their doings. That's as far as I want to go. And my, t my theme, my text is, I'm all right. In the book of Isaiah, when we read this chapter from the first verse, you see that God has, because of J Jerusalem and, and Israel's rebellion, and the uprising of generations that did not want to obey. God removed some of the key men and leaders and removed those that had the that had the the had that had the, the, the morality and had the spirituality. He moved them out of the way. And he allowed the rebellious to, to rise up. And they rose up and they decided that they did not want to adhere to the teachings of their father. Hallelujah. And they decided that they were going to anoint and appoint their own leaders of their own generation without the oversight of those who went before them. And it became chaotic. They, they gave position to their peers and said in their own father's house, you be the leader. We don't need those older ones. We don't need the seniors. We don't need the elders. You be the leader. And, and you wear the cloak. Hallelujah. And you take into consideration, you, you take control over this ruin that's left called church. And they made a mess out of things to the degree that it became worse than Sodom. Hallelujah. As you read verse 1 through 10, you'll see 
how the generations rose up that did not respect God and did not adhere to the teachings of the, of, of, of the leaders. And, and, and they parted. They parted. And they developed their own way of doing things. Not unlike today. Not unlike today. You, 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 you find that there are leaders that are bastardized without fathers. You find that there are leaders that are in place that don't have a covering. You find that there are leaders in place that don't have any supervision. And everything that they do, they do what's right in their own eyes without anybody giving them any, any kind of correction. They won't receive correction. I don't hear anybody here. And we see this becoming an uprising in what we call religion today. And it's made this thing such a chaotic conundrum that it's hard to distinguish what is going on. Hallelujah. But despite all that's going on, all the chaos that's taking place, there is a promise to those who are holding on. Despite all of the wranglings that are taking, that taking over, there's a promise to those that are keeping the faith. That no matter how bad times get, there is a promise that will secure those of us that will not let down the faith. I wish I was talking to somebody here. God had made a promise. He said, Say to the righteous in the middle of this conundrum. Say to the righteous in the middle of this chaos. Say to the righteous that are in the middle of this hellish upheaval. Tell the righteous, don't be concerned about what they see happening. It shall be well. It shall be well with him. And we've got to take that into consideration in this time where we are in the most chaotic period in the history of our country and the world. When we see World War III on the horizon, when we see the chaos that's taking place in the Ukraine with Russia attacking, when you take into consideration what Israel's going through and, and how they're attacking Gaza and how the, the innocents are dying, where you see the world powers becoming galvanized, where you see Hamas and Hezbollah and all of these entities, these terroristic entities, gaining strength, revving up, making plans. And you see the chaos in this country. You say, oh, I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. And you see the chaos in this country with political wranglings that have been absolutely, absolutely horrendous, where morality has left, where we are dealing with situations that are putting us to the test. Hallelujah. And now we find ourselves fighting one another. I'm not going to say it. Hallelujah. And we're in a real bad spot if you look at it naturally. But just as God was back in Egypt, has he protected Goshen during the time of trouble in Egypt? God will always protect the remnant. God will always take care of his children. Let me make this plain. He's a great father. He's not just God sitting on the throne. He is our father. And he is a great father. He will take care of his own. And although we're in the middle of this mess, God has given us a promise that he will cover us under his wing. And he will take care of us that are faithful to him. Do I have anybody here? We can go through the different turmoils and come out all right because God has made us a promise that it shall be well with us. Touch somebody and say, I'm all right. I'm all right. I've been through hell before. 
I've been through trouble before. I've, I've already waded through the waters before. I've gone through the stress before. And if God took me through back then, he'll take me through now. My concern is not about the faithfulness of God. I've got to keep my faith strong and see God bring every promise that he's made to pass. See him do what he does best. I've got to sit back in a time of trouble and watch my God work. Hallelujah. I've got to see God do the miracles that he's promised. I've got to, I've got to remain steadfast. Steadfast. Unmovable. I've got to continue to hold on and believe that God knows what's best for me. Hallelujah. And I've got to sit back in total confidence knowing that Satan's greatest attack, his greatest attempt against me will fail as it has before. And I will walk on the enemy's head and every problem and trial that I go through will only make me stronger. It will only increase my faith. It will only increase my determination to become who God's called me to be. I'm not troubled and concerned about the things that are going wrongly because I've been made of greater stuff than the problems. I am made of greater stuff and I can go through all things and come out victorious. Somebody just raise your hand and say, I'm all right. I don't want you to I, I, don't, I don't want you to I don't want you to be concerned about me. I don't want you to be concerned about my well-being because I'm going through what I need to go through. But if I'm going through it, I'm not staying in it. I'm making my way to my destiny. And uh, and if you're going through a problem, that's just a page in your book of success. If you're going through a struggle, that's just a page in the book of success. Because God will surely give you the strength to go through every single situation and come out victorious. 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, the 13th verse, simply says, there is no test and no trial that has taken you, but such as is common unto every man. But God is faithful. I said, but God is faithful. And he will not allow you to be tested above the level that you are able, but will with the test, but will with the trial. He's not going to take the trial away. He's going to give you strength in the trial. Uh, I just messed up with somebody. He's not going to take the trial away. He's going to give you strength in the trial. Let me, let me take, take you to another. Jesus sat with Peter and he said, Simon, I had a conversation last night with Satan and Satan came to me and he asked permission to have you. Satan desires you because he wants to take you and sift you like wheat. He said, but don't worry about it. You're going to be okay. He didn't say, I'm going to stop Satan. <laughs> he didn't say, I'm going to put a halt to his attempt. What he did say was, I prayed for you. Hallelujah. He said, I prayed for you. And I didn't pray that you wouldn't go through the sifting, but I prayed that when the enemy came upon you, that your faith would not fail you. Am I talking to anybody here? There are certain things that we have to go through, but the bottom line is we're not going to stay there. We're going through it, and our faith has got to keep us steadfast. Our faith cannot waver in the time of trial. Our faith cannot waver in the time of trouble. Our faith has got to grow, and the Word of God has got to be our assurance that no weapon formed against us can prosper hallelujah and every I'm sorry and every tongue that rises against us in judgment our life will condemn it our walk with God will condemn it 
our relationship with Christ will condemn it. There's nothing that the enemy can throw at us that we cannot endure and that we cannot walk on top of. Somebody say, I'm all right. I'm all right. The enemy wants more than anything else for us to succumb and to give in to his attacks. Health-wise, emotionally-wise, spiritually-wise. He wants us to become exhausted. He wants to wear out the saints. He wants to hit us three ways, hard, fast, and continuously. He wants to beat on us to the point where we start to, to, to waver or start to wonder where God is. <laughs> but I've been in this too long to start wavering now. The enemy wants us to believe that we're dealing with something that's, up, uh, that's above and beyond normal. But let me tell you something. What we're going through is just another test. And he won't allow us to come to a testing that he hasn't prepared us for. Anybody here? Anybody here? He won't allow us to go through anything that he hasn't prepared us for. I, I, I've, got, I've got news for naysayers and enemies and those that fight against us. Be careful. Be, be careful because the bottom line is I'm going to come out of this all right no matter how it goes. And if you're waiting for me to fall, if you're waiting for me to fail, if you're waiting for me to be overcome, you got a long wait. Because God gives us more grace. Do I have anybody in this house? And while my enemy is sitting back waiting for my fault, my flaw, my fall, you might as well get up and go someplace else because the bottom line is God will hold me up in his hand. Because he's written his name on me. His banner is over me. His spirit is in me. His hand is on me. His word is flowing out of me. And I'm going to be... Oh, somebody scream, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to be... As a matter of fact, I'm not going to be all right. I'm all right already. I'm all right. Hit somebody say, I'm all right already. Hallelujah. I may, I may look like I'm going through, but keep your eyes on me because I'm already more than a conqueror. I've already got the victory. I've already been infused with the power to go through. And every enemy, I will walk on top of their head. I will tread upon serpent and scorpion and over all the power of the enemy. In other words, I ain't no easy kill. You can't take me out like that. I've got God on my side. And if God... I gotta stop now. If God be for me, who can be against me? If God is on my side, what can the enemy do with me? Y'all don't hear me. I've got the assurance from God that even if I walk through the fire, I'll be all right. If I go through the flood, I'll be all right. I've got the assurance of the most high God that when the wicked and my enemy and my foe come upon me to eat of my flesh, I'll be all right. I don't hear you here. God will cause them to stumble and fall. In other words, there's nothing that can come upon me that can overcome me because God has given me the power to make it through every situation. If there's a mountain in front of me, I'll be all right. I'll speak to that mountain and tell it to get out of the way. I don't hear anybody here. Whatever my problem, whatever my struggle,
struggle. Whatever the situation, I'm all right. Let the enemy know that I've got the power. Mother Bowman used to say, I've got the power in the name of Jesus. I've got the power in the name of the Lord. Though Satan is raging, I will not be defeated. Hit somebody say, I will not be defeated. I will not be defeated. Hit somebody with joy and say, I will not be defeated. So as I take my seat, I just want the enemy to know I'm already secured in God. I'm all right. Let the vlogger and the blogger know that there's nothing that you can say that can hurt me. I'm all right. Let the heathens rage. It doesn't matter to me. I'm all right. My home is all right. My family's all right. My health is all right. My mind is all right. My soul is all right. My spirit's all right. Somebody here, I just holler, I'm all right. Now put a praise on that. God has covered me and I am all right. God has been faithful and he always will be. And, and he always will be. God doesn't leave us even if we're in the middle of a tempest, in the middle of a storm, with the wind blowing, with the lightning flashing, with the thunder rolling, with the waves crashing, with the rain falling, even if we're being tossed to and fro by the fury of the, of the storm, keep your eyes open. I'm all right, because he's walking on the water. He, he's coming to me. I, I'm all right. Are you hearing me? Even if I get into a situation where my enemy thinks that they bested me, heat the flame up seven times hotter. I'm all right. Because if you throw me in, I'm going to praise him. I'm going to represent him. And even in my trouble, he's in it with me. Did you hear me? Even in my trouble, he's, he's not coming. He's there. Y'all didn't hear that. He, he's not coming to my rescue. He's already there. He was there before I got there. He was in the storm before I got to the storm to secure me, to make sure that I'm all right. Hallelujah. I, I can't get away from him. I can't get away from him. 
I can't get away from him. He takes such good care. I can't get away from him. Where, where can I go to flee from your presence? If I took the wings of the morning and flew to the utmost parts of the world, when I got there, you're already there. If I fall so low that I make my bed in a hellish situation, when I hit rock bottom, you're always there. Already there. That's the assurance of our God. And no matter what situation we find ourselves in, we're all right. So let the, let, let the enemies know, let the voyeurs know, let those who are looking on know as you're watching me. I'm all right. Put those hands together and give God praise. Come on, put those hands together and give God praise. Just one more time, turn around, grab three people by the hand and tell them assuredly, I'm all right. That's right, praise him. Praise him, he takes such good care of us. He takes such good care of us. Tell the righteous, it shall be well with him. So I told the righteous, it all shall be well. And you're all right with God now listen everyone look at me that promise was made it was a qualifying promise it was not for everybody it was a qualifying promise what was the qualification you had to be righteous you had to be righteous in order for the promise to be unto you. Say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. Those of us that are righteous, we go through with that confidence. We go through with that assurance that God is on our side. Those that are not righteous, the, the next verse says, woe to those that are evil. The next verse says, woe to those that are a wicked evil for those that are not in Christ yet or on the periphery or living compromised that promise does not extend to you but it could it should all you've got to do is to come to this righteous God and say have mercy on me oh God have mercy have, have mercy on me According to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, just blot out my transgressions. In other words, you saw what I did wrong, so I throw myself on your mercy. For, forgive me. Change me. Deliver me. Deliver me. And God is just that kind of a father. He says, no, 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 you don't have to beg me. Come unto me. You that are weary and heavy laden. He said, no, no. You don't have to say 10 Hail Marys. You don't have to say 12 Our Fathers. You don't have to worry about how I'm going to receive you. He said, come jacked up. Come messed up. Come with your burdens. Come with your baggage. He said, come, just come unto me. You that are heavy laden, burdened, I'll give you rest. While you're struggling in your sin, I'll give you rest. Don't clean up to come to me. You can't clean up to come to me. You got to come as you are. 
That's the love of our God. Balcony, that's the love of our God. And so to any and every one of you that are dealing with sin issues, man, the only resolution to your sin issue is Jesus. You can take 12 steps if you want to. You can go through your different programs, and that's fine. But the, but the real solution to your sin issue is Jesus. It's that simple. It's Jesus. Well, I, 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 I'm, I, I still got problems. Everybody does. But if you can hear the blessed Savior calling you, don't resist him. Come. Come. The, 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 the song says, just as I am. Not cleaning myself up. Not trying to get free from my struggle. Just as I am. Without making one excuse. But that your blood was shed for me. And because you bid me to come like I am to you you would really take me as I am? The Lamb of God, I come. I come. And if that's you and you say, Pastor, really, I just, could you just pray for me? Because I, I, I want to come as I am. And, and I, forget about your titles. Even if you have a title, if you know that you're in a sin issue, don't hold back. He said, the day you hear my voice, don't harden your heart. If that is you, I want you to come down right now. Come out of the balcony. Come down. That's right, brother. That's right, brother. Come on. Come, 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 come. Will somebody give God praise? Come, come. No matter who you are. No matter where you are. Come, come. Come. That's right. That's right. Come, brother. That's right. Come. That's right. Come. Come, that's right, come. God bless you, God bless you, come. Come, come out of the balcony. Come from the back. Hallelujah, even come from the front. Come out of the choir stand, no matter where you are. Now is the day of salvation. All sin can be washed away right now. The love of God is greater than your sin. The love of God is greater than your struggle. Come, will somebody give God praise? Will somebody evangelize to the person next to you? Come, come. Be free from your burden. Be free from your sin. Be free from your struggle. That's right, come, come, come. That's right, come on, that's right, brother, come, come, come. Oh, I wish I had some Christians here that were really glad. They're still coming. They're still coming. They're still coming. Don't be afraid of love. God is love. And when God gives you the opportunity to change, accept it. Accept that God loves you. He loves you with an unconditional love. Can somebody praise God with a loud voice here? Somebody praise God with a loud voice here. There are a few more people and you're fighting in your seat. Don't fight any longer. He said, come, I'll accept you. Come, I'll take you. Come, I love you. Come, I'll forgive you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on, brother. That's right. I don't care what you come with. Come with your addictions. Come with your emotional struggles. Come with your broken life. Come to him. He loves you. Come to him. He will heal you. He will help you. If you need help in your mind, if you need help in your heart, what 
one more time, somebody just give God a shout and shake his face. That's right, sister, come on. Where are the ministers? Let the ministers come. You all go pray. Let the ministers come and pray for them. They're still coming. Good God. Yes. Yes. Come on. That's right. Come on. Come on, young men. Come on, young children. Suffer the children to come too. God saved me at nine years old. He saves the young and the old. Come, ministers, lay hands. Let the elders come and lay hands. Hallelujah. Somebody come and travail with this man that's on his knees. Come on, elders. Come and travail with this man that's on his knees. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Lay hands on each of them. Lay hands on each of them. Lay hands on each of them. That's right, they're still coming. That's right, come on. Come on. It's not too late. It's not too late. It's not too late. Yes, yes, yes. It's not too late. All sin, all sin be forgiven. All lives be put back together again. All hearts be mended. All help be given by God. All help be given by God. It's not too late. For three more of you, it's not too late. It's not too late. You hear him calling you, come. The love of God, the love of God, the love of God, the love of God, the love of God embraces you. The love of God reaches out to you and all sin is forgiven. All lives are made whole. Be filled in with the Holy Ghost. That's right, brother, it's not too late. It's not too late. That's right, brother, it's not too late. Pray with that brother right there that came down. Hallelujah. 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 That's right. That's right. Accept the Lord Jesus as your Savior. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 By the gracious love of Jesus. By the gracious love. Non c'è dubbio, Cristo il Signore. Oh, baranamo, Mosea. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The power of sin is destroyed, and the power of God's love embraces you. Washes away every sin. Washes away every sin. In the name of 
of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everyone raise your hands. All of you at the, that are here at the altar, at the front, raise your hands. And those that may be watching online that have accepted Jesus as your Savior today, everyone raise your hands and I want the whole room to pray with them and say, Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you. I accept you today as my help, my hope, and my Savior. Wash all of my sin away. Cleanse me. Help me in my struggles. You are my God, and today I am your child. I give you my life, Lord, for the rest of my life. My life in your hands. I trust you. By grace, come on, say, by grace, through my faith in you, all of my sin is forgiven. By your grace and my faith in you, today, I am born again. I am forgiven of sin. I am saved. Now, Father, I pray for every one of these that come to you and come back to you. I pray, Lord God, that you would seal them and fill them with the Holy Spirit. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Let them feel your love. Embrace them. And you are the help in the time of trouble. And with you, we are all right. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for loving us. And we pray, Lord God, that their earnest prayer to you, that they would grow in the relationship with you. Lead them to a great church home that can give them the word of God for them to grow thereby. And every power of the enemy be destroyed over their lives, in-house and online, in the matchless name of Jesus. Now everybody praise God. loved by Jesus. You are loved by Jesus. You are loved unconditionally by Jesus. Unconditionally by Jesus. Now hug that person that's next to you in the front and say, I'm all right. I'm all right now. Hug that person. Hug them. Hug them. Hug them. Say, I'm all right. God bless you. Somebody celebrate these lives. Is that the celebration? We celebrate these lives in Jesus' name. Now, I'm not sure... Do we open up for those that want to join Perfecting Church? Do we do that, huh? Not yet? Okay, good. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let y'all do that. In Jesus' name. We're going to worship God in our giving right now. Nah. I heard about some great things that's going on here at Perfecting Church. I heard about some great things that are going on with sacrificial giving here at Perfecting, Faith, at Perfecting Church. I hear that there's some miraculous giving going on here at Perfecting Church. Is, is, is it true? Is, is it? Amen. Amen. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never failed me. All my days, I am held in your hand. From the moment that I wake up till I lay my head, I will sing 
of the goodness of God. Prepare your offering. If you need an envelope, raise your hand. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fail. And all my days I'm held in your hand. From the very moment that I wake up till I lay my head, I will say, Everyone, prepare your arm. Sing all my life. You sing it, you sing it. All my life. You testify with every breath. Listen, to every one of you that have committed yourself to $135 in your offering, I want you to keep your commitment and, you know, make sure that you honor that. And so, amen. How many of you have committed to the $135? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Amen. I want you to make sure that you keep it. In Jesus' name. And I want everyone to sanctify an offering to the Lord right now. I can't wait for the next 15 months to go by. I'm going to be here to walk in the new building. I'm going to be here to walk into the the miracle on Woodward. I'm going to be here. In Jesus' name. So I want everyone to prepare your hearts so and to do so cheerfully and liberally because God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. Everyone standing with your offering. Everyone standing with your offering. Everyone standing with your offering. Hallelujah. Hold that offering up to the Lord. This is a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sight. Continue to be faithful in your giving. God honors that. And you will see the manifestation of it. You will see the return. For God is no man's debtor. He said if you give, it will be given back unto you. Good measure. Pressed down. Shaken together, running over. God will cause men to give into your bosom. God gives seed to the sower. Only to the sower. God gives seed to the sower. And as you sow the seed, know that there is a command for it to to come return to you. It will return to you. And so we expect it and we rejoice over it in Jesus' name. Everyone, hold that offering up. Father, we bless you for this opportunity to sow. We thank you, Father, for this, this, this service and our chance to be a part of the corporate body that sows into the kingdom soil. We sow our seed in the kingdom soil and it will bring forth fruit that will remain in our lives. And we thank you for it. In your name, Jesus. Everyone say, not as a dead I owe. Come on, say it. Say, not as a dead I owe. But this is a seed I sow. Amen. Everyone, take that offering. If you have an envelope, pass it down toward the, uh, the outer aisles. Pass it all the way down toward the outer, outer aisles. Let the last person on that row hold that up. Let the last person on the row pass it down toward the outer aisles. Let the last person on that row hold that up as the ushers come and retrieve in Jesus' name.
for this awesome and dynamic man of God and our very own Pastor Donnie McClurkin. We thank God for the word that he put in this man. We thank God it's going to be all right. Amen. For the righteous. Amen. It's going to be all right. Well, without further ado, I want to welcome Elder Andre Healy and Sister Cindy Flowers. They're going to come at this time. Praise the Lord, everyone. I said, praise the Lord, everyone. Listen, I want you to know that here at Perfected Church, we absolutely love and adore our visitors. So please, let's give a big round of applause to all of our visitors on today. I want to welcome those who are also watching us in the cyber sanctuary. We thank you for allowing us to come into your home. But now we want to take this time and acknowledge all of our first-time visitors. If this is your first time visiting, Perfected Church, would you please stand and remain standing? Amen. Wow, look at that. You make me smile. Give it up. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, Perfected, we can do better than that. Amen. Let's give a big round of applause. A oh, great God bless you to all of our first time visitors. Sister Cindy, what do we have for our first time visitors? Well, you all came on a great day. We are so happy to have you visiting Perfecting Church for the very first time. And at this time, our smiling ushers are coming and they're going to be handing you a card and you're going to look at the QR code on that card and you're going to scan the QR code and fill out all the information that's going to be asked of you. And then one of our members, they're going to be in the, at the photo booth and they're going to be holding a sign that looks just like this. You're going to meet them at the photo booth take some photos the photo booth is just for you to have some fun at the photo booth and then they're going to escort you to the bookstore where you're going to get a gift just for being our guest today amen we are so 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 honored that you took the time to worship with perfecting and the reason why we ask you to stay standing is because now our members are going to hop up and they're going to show you some love while we sing a song just for you got their love amen and then we have some guests that came in a little bit late that we still want to acknowledge today we have attorney Nicole Huddleston running for Oakland County 6th district judge can you please stand and all of our political guests that are here today we encourage you all after service to greet them if you want to ask them any questions we do have a very important election coming up as Minister Omar said amen and then we also have Miss Audrey Hargo, founder of Aya Foods of Illinois. And she has all these cute little young ladies with her from Chicago, Atlanta, Memphis, and even Detroit. Can you all stand so that they can see you all? Can you all welcome them once again to Perfecting Church? They look so adorable. And thank you again for taking the time to visit Perfecting. God bless you. Now, would you please give your attention to our video announcements? Good day, members and friends of Perfecting Church. It's time for the Perfecting News. Perfecting's own Minister Mike Sears has penned a book entitled Male Functioning, and the bookstore will host a signing today immediately following the 10.45 a.m. service. Purchase your book and have it signed by the author. See you in the chapel for this wonderful event. 
Brothers, we're looking forward to some fun Saturday afternoon at the Men's Bowling Fellowship. For a small donation, we will bowl and have lunch, and our shoes are included too. Come on out and take down some pins. Let's see who will have the high score. Sign up after service. We look forward to seeing you this Saturday. Mark your calendar and join the Power of Prayer Call this Saturday, October 26th at 5 p.m. Lock in the number 351-888-7481 and believe God for all the things you have been praying for. Again, the number is 351-888-7481. Don't miss the prayer call. Calling all children. Are you ready for a fun night? All roads lead to Perfecting Church Thursday, October 31st for an evening of games, snacks, and fun, fun, fun. Parents, register your children at cproctor at perfectingchurch.org and get ready for a fantastic event. Election Day is November 6th and we must all cast our vote. Join Bishop-elect Marvin L. Winans live on Facebook and YouTube for a pre-election day prayer gathering Monday, November 4th at 7 p.m. Spread the word and invite others as we pray for our local, state government, and our nation. It's time to pray. Thank you for your attention to The Perfecting News. Feel free to contact Perfecting Church offices at 313-365-3787 if you have questions. Have a blessed day. Hey, everybody. I'm Brian Tatum, and I'm here with Coach Mike Sears. <laughs> you know, we call him minister. We call him brother. He's also my friend. Absolutely. And we're here discussing a book signing he has coming up. I am so excited to be able to share my book with you. It's entitled Male Functioning, Get Out of Your Own Way and Execute Your Dream Life Play. This book is about helping uh, individuals understand their identity, how God made them. What was God's intent and purpose when he created each and every one of us as individuals? Uh, we have a, a, a purpose and a plan as humanity, but we also have a purpose and a plan as individuals. What are some of the struggles that this book might help individuals with? The target audience is, is for men. And a lot of times as men, we can get in our own way of following the plan that God has for us. Because it's for men, I use analogies from football. It's football oh, season good. right that's now. Good. It's a universal language that I believe can help men understand us better by breaking down some scenarios in the game of football and relating them to uh, real life. The fortunate thing is, book is not just for men. Because, you know, those that want to help understand, you know, men better and develop even stronger relationships. I'm hearing that you have a book signing coming up. Yes, sir. So when and where will this book signing be? At Perfecting Church, right after the 1045 service. Meet me here for service. Let's, let's break spiritual bread together and listen to a dynamic word preached by our awesome and youthful dynamic uh, bishop. Uh, Pastor Marvin L. Wine. Yes, sir. And right after that, um, we're going to have a book signing at 7616 East Nevada. That's October 20th. You guys heard it here first. Mike Sears, male function. Get out of your own way and execute your dreams life play. See you soon. Hey, everybody. I'm Brian Tatum, and I'm here with Coach Mike Sears. I'm all right. My name is Sister Beverly Lynn, and I'm representing Perfecting Care Department, Perfecting CDC, and PC Community Care Center. Today I bring you news you can use. So on Saturday, October 26th, at, from 10 to 3 at Perfecting Church, 7616 East Nevada, we are going to have a healthy home, seniors and individuals with disabilities day. That's why, right. let's give a hand, all right. Everyone is invited, but the reason we're focusing on our seniors and individuals with disabilities, because every year on March 1st, 
is Foreclosure Prevention Day for the Wayne County Treasurer's Office, actually across the state of Michigan. And this year, we had a few seniors and those with disabilities, as well as others whose property were foreclosed on them. We don't want that to happen again. And the way we do that is educate, engage, and empower. And that's what we'll be doing on the 26th. We have representatives from the Board of Review, and they will have applications for you to apply for the HOPE program. And the HOPE program is a program where if you are not in a certain tax bracket, you don't have to pay taxes. You will become tax exempt, especially, that's right, let's give you a hand. All right, and especially those Detroit, Highland Park, and Hamtramck. However, across the entire state of Michigan, anyone that goes to their assessor's office, their treasurer's office, they should have a program with you if you're having problems on paying your taxes. We will have folks there from the Department of Neighborhoods, Office of the Ombudsman, Water Affordability, where you can get into the $10 payment plan, zero interest loans, Office of the Assessor if you think your taxes are too high, DWSD, that's the Water Department. And so I wanna say to you, please join us. If you know any of your family and friends that might be in trouble with their taxes, and some of you might not even know you are. So we will also have representatives from the treasurer's office that will be there to look up your taxes for you, as well as be able to put you in a payment plan. So I know all of you are all right, so we'll see those of you on the 26th. Thank you and have a blessed day. Praise the Lord. I'm gonna make that same confession. I am all right, hallelujah. My name is Sister Krishan Amadamiro, and I'm here to inform you of the additional announcements and activities here at Perfecting Church. Attention members and friends of Perfecting, a few weeks ago, Pastor Winans thanked several of you as you showed up to voice your opposition to a marijuana distribution center near our church. Unfortunately, we need your help once again. There will be an appeal hearing on Monday, October 28th at 9.30 a.m. regarding a retail marijuana dispensary scheduled to open near our care center on Division. Um, Davison, excuse me. The devil is a liar. The ushers will hand out the information as you exit the sanctuary with the ways that you can participate. And we thank you in advance for your support. Amen. First time visitors, please go to the sanctuary, to, to the um, corridor, excuse me, to the photo booth in the corridor immediately following service, and your escort will meet you there. Perfecting Church is an awesome church. Would you agree? Yes. With loving people. But guess what? If you're looking for a church home, we would love for you to join our church family. And Pastor Roy Haynes is coming at this time to extend an invitation. Thank you for your attention. Amen. Praise God. There may be someone here today that say, this is where the Lord would have me. This is a great place to be. And this is where the Lord would have me. You can come at this time. This can become your church home. You can come at this time. We want to welcome you. Anyone today, say this is where the Lord would have me and I want to join Perfecting Church. This is your time. We'll wait for you if you're in the balcony. You can come at this time. Anyone. Amen. If not, God bless you. Let's say amen for Minister Proctor. Praise the name of God. Come on and clap your hands because it's all right. It's all right with the righteous. Praise God again for Pastor Donnie McClurkin. Amen. For that electrifying word. Praise God. Just some additional announcements. Tuesday is going to be a treat. So make sure you all are at Bible study. 11.15 a.m. and the 7 o'clock p.m. Bible study this coming Tuesday. Brothers, Saturday's bowling outing is going to be phenomenal. It's going to be great. We want all the men to come out. Amen? I have a baritone amen for my men. Amen. 10.45 a.m. service was incredible, and we are only going to go higher at 3 o'clock p.m., so you want to be there. Now, let's all go to the chapel for Minister Mike Sears. Where's Minister Mike Sears? Where you at? He's here? 
He's in the chapel. Okay, I was going to have him swing his hands. He's in the chapel. Go see him. And if you need prayer, uh, our ministers will be down front to pray with you after today's service. Amen. All right, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you and we honor you, God, for this wonderful word. We know that we are right in you because we are righteous. We have the master on the inside. Thank you, Lord. We ask that you would bless these thy people. Keep them away from hurt, harm, danger. God, we come against the enemy now in every diabolical scheme. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of all the people of God. Continue to touch our pastor, God, and our first lady, God. And we'll be careful to give your name all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. Come on and clap your hands. In Jesus' name, you're dismissed. Hug your brother and sister. Amen.